welcome back to the NBW Always Be Watching channel. This is your host, Shana Morgan Kearns. Um, as you can see back now, our special guest is very hostile. Um, we were supposed to have Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. But they they couldn't uh, they couldn't make it for some reason. Yeah. But here instead we have the not so great but still great Hannah Mabarka. Yeah. So today we will do an interview right after these words from our sponsors. Nutrigrain strawberry breakfast bars, naturally and artificially flavored, will keep you going all day. They also come in blueberry, apple cinnamon, and soon to come caramel apple. This was not sponsored by Nutrigrain and never will be. The Bearded Ladies & Co, a bandana and pet accessory company specializing in bandanas and transferable travelers. These stylish bandanas will be perfect for any size dog as they come in small, medium, and large. But that's not all. These stylish bandanas are even reversible, keeping your pet stylish and fresh every day with new patterns to choose from. Dogs will absolutely adore these bandanas and want to wear them every day. Tell the viewers, Casper, don't you love your bandana? <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Today, what, as I was saying earlier, we are going to be doing an interview with Hannibal Barca. When and where were you born, and how did you... Why did you hate Rome? I was born in Carthage in 247 B.C., I was born into a military family, and since I was a young boy, I've always had hostility towards Rome. Rome had defeated my father, Hamilcar Barker, in the Punic War. Who was in your family, and who was your mentor and teacher? I was the son of a Carthaginian general named Hamilcar Barker. When I was still very young, my father invited me to join him in Spain while I was only nine years of age. However, my father was my main mentor and teacher, but my father later died in 228 BC. What did you think about being the general of Carthage? I was 26. I became general and I felt very powerful. I felt the need to live up to my father's expectations. Everyone said I was probably the most successful military commander I always felt that I was indeed the best. When did you travel with your army to Rome? I traveled to Rome in 218 BC. I had marched through the Pyrenees Mountains into the city of Gaul with more than 10,000 members of my army. My troops and I met very little trouble from local forces that were allied to Rome. I felt that they were just scared of me and my troops. The Roman general <laughs> Scipio attempted to stop me at the Rhone River, but I had already passed and my troops and I were already headed for the Alps. When you were growing up, when was the first time you saw war? When the first time I saw war was when I was 10 years old and my father, Hamilcar Barker, took me to Spain and while he was at war. It was an amazing experience that led me to believe that I want to be a great military commander just as my father. It allowed me to capture war at its finest. How did you feel after Rome had defeated you? I was filled with rage and regret. I also felt embarrassed because my father had been such a successful military commander. I sometimes wonder why people call me the most successful commander because I had been defeated by my arch nemesis, Rome. When would you have done if you had defeated Rome? Sorry, I said it was just so good. To be honest, I would probably expand Carthage and killed all Romans who defied me. I also would have avenged my father's death in a fight for all he fought for. How did you feel after Rome had fooled you? I felt them very naive for have letting them fool me. They made me return to my homeland, Carthage, for no reason. 
My feeling of naive turned to rage and anger. Why did you decide to use elephants for the war? Funny question. I get that a lot. I decided to use elephants because I wanted to look more powerful. Also, if I looked more powerful, I hoped that some of Rome's allies would back off and decide not to help them, which would make it easier for me to destroy Rome. The last question. It's a very sad one. How and when did you die? I died in 183 BC at Lydisa near the Bosphor Straits. I took my own life by drinking poison. I was very upset that Rome defeated Carthage, and I was unable to bear that I was unable to avenge my father and live up to expectations. Well, there you have it, everyone. The interview of the great Hannibal Barker. Next week on the ABW show, we will hopefully be interviewing Casper Crazy Kern, the craziest dog alive. Anyway, stay alive, stay peaceful, stay calm, stay here. Stay here. You heard it right here from Hannibal Barca, everyone.